An emotional night at the William & Mary College campus. The community came together to remember 19-year-old student and football player Nate Evans. Evans died last week after he was shot in Norfolk. And 10 year size Gina Arevalo was at the memorial service and joins us with details. Gina? Yeah, Tom and Anita. Tom and Anita, as you both mentioned, it was a very emotional service. Hundreds of people filled the Kaplan Arena here on campus to pay their respects to someone who they say will be very greatly missed. With his family and teammates looking on, Nate Evans was remembered as a great friend, a talented athlete, and a loving son. You were a beautiful young man with a contagious smile and a heart way too big for your body. Evans' jersey was displayed on the stage as video of his time on the football field played on a screen. His teammates tearfully walked in and consoled each other. The crowd stood as Evans' mother walked into the arena heartbroken. William & Mary President Catherine Rowe emotionally addressed the community. We together will help you to shoulder it. We are one tribe and one family always. Nate was described as competitive on the field, but a caring person nonetheless. He was an encourager, he was a believer. He saw people's potential and believed that they could do things they never considered. He went out of his way to make other people smile, even on days when he couldn't smile himself. There were lots of tears, but laughs too. Known for his love for shoes and fashion choices, his teammate recalled a time when Evans offered a little help. Walked into his room that first summer we were here and he goes, are those cargo shorts? <laughs> like, yeah. He goes, that's okay, bro. We'll go shopping soon. Although his family didn't speak on stage, a family friend read a letter that Evans' mother wrote to her son. Though the road ahead seems extremely dark without you, I will be looking for your light every minute of every day. Shine bright, baby. Light up the world like only you can. Mama loves you. No arrests have been made in this case just yet, so if you have any information, you're asked to call the crime line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Reporting live in Williamsburg tonight, Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.